Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad. In today's video, we're playing Dark. I wanted to do a Halloween type of thing, basically. Um, didn't have time to because I forgot that I record in advance. So oftentimes that just means that I have, like, if I want to do an event for Halloween, I'll have to plan it like two weeks in advance, which I didn't. I planned it like five days before and i was gonna do an overwatch thing first but then this game dark came out for free on the epic game store which is probably where we're gonna see a lot of my games come from uh soon basically because i'm gonna use those games to basically build my channel i guess expand what i'm doing but i don't know how to play this game all i've done so far is load the menu and all i know is that wasd and enter is what i'm using Okay, so I don't know what's happening here. I can go left, right. There's no up, down, space does nothing, and enter doesn't do anything. That clock is going crazy. Uh um, it looks like it's just going back and forth between different times. Uh, doesn't. I don't know if there's any rhythm or rhyme there. I feel like I should have explored the rest of the room first. Um. Oh, shit. So I walked up to this wall, pushed space, and now I'm walking on this hoe. Um, but there's nowhere to go. I don't think I can go that back way yet. So I guess I'll keep going this way. I'm very confused. It really just drops you in here. I feel like this is going to drop away when I step on it. Or not. All right, whatever. Hmm. I could I could launch something with that, which I think is what I'm supposed to do. I just have to figure out what I need to launch. There's also a sprint button. Forgot I read with that. Forgot that I read that. So I only really have to do this when I'm going at a corner up the wall. I don't have to do anything if I'm coming around this corner. Like I can just run off this corner and it'll just grab the side. But otherwise, I do have to push space. So it's not necessarily automatic like we think with insects, insects where they just do it. I guess it's a conscious thought for this character. I don't know if Dark is a franchise. The game is called Dark the Complete Collection is what I got from uh, the store. But I don't know where this game came from it looks pretty good though i'm just hoping it's not going to come out too dark dark when i go through and um edit for youtube I said i is for inventory but i don't have anything oh i see i got it now I didn't see that little ledge above me at first. What is Q do? Okay, he picked up this big ass gear that looks like it weighs more than he would, but uh, it's none of my business, I guess. Whoa, shit could have killed us. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. Oh, okay.
Okay, so I have to find two more gears then. Hang on, let me change the binding for inventory because there's no reason it should be I and everything else is on my left hand. It's also weird too, like you see there's like a barrel right on the side of us. So there's no real right side up because it looks like on every level there's something that should be falling if this wasn't the right way around. If I take this, it doesn't look like I can keep going this way because of this spinning piece. But now I can go around this corner. And I might need to find a third uh, gear because it looks like that other one only opens when there's a gear on it. That or I was supposed to hold on to the first one for a while longer. Um, I used to have a game on my phone like this when I was younger. I don't know. Oh, I think it's so down. There we go. Uh, that's the key. Oh, it's an emblem. I was going to say, there's no way that that thing's actually a key. Okay. It doesn't look like it can go forward or back. It looks like everything is 2D, similar to games like... Ooh, I can't remember what they're called, but it's two like Shadow Children. Not the new one, though. The two separate games of Shadow Children. I'll probably, if I remember, I'll probably drop the, uh... The names of them in here. But they're both made by the same people, but they're two separate games. It's not a series like the one that has the little girl and the little boy stuck in a simulation type thing with the radios. Can't remember the name of it, but not that game. It is similar to that one too, though, but I'm talking about the other ones that came out before it was a kid. He fights a spider in the first few seconds, I think. Maybe I need to bring this with me. Okay, I need to, I'm trying to push exit to close the menu because that's what I've been doing in Minecraft since I still play it by myself. Okay, go around this corner. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do in here. At least not yet. But there has to be something I can do with this key emblem. I assume it's supposed to be used to advance the story, right? Oh my goodness. I'm fucking blind is all it is. I gotta remember the mechanics of the game is the problem. Jesus. Well, I'll put this back away now. Uh, uh oh shit. Lost the game. All right. I got to remember the wall like climbing ability type thing and I should have grabbed that other gear real so I got to run back and get that real quick. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be something with that, but I only saw the wooden plank right above it and was like, "Well, there's no way we can get past that forgetting that there's a ceiling I could potentially walk onto also." I have my other wheel, right? Yeah, okay. Wheel. The other gear, right? And then this one's gonna go here. If this is chapter one, I know I'm gonna be struggling through it. I think I wanna hit this switch first. If I go up this door, that's also death, right? No. Oh, I have to hit them in a specific order. Okay, so I'm really just walking around the corners of this room. Um, the death one is all the way on the other side, isn't it? 
Oh, I thought that's a spray. I forgot it wasn't gonna change like which side that piece was on since its gravity is tied to the two entrance doors and its gravity isn't tied to the top and bottom. But long story short, we got the last thing that we needed to. I feel like I should be running because uh, it looks like we just took out the what the hell? Oh, this is yeah. Did I just get fucking sh uh sneak? Okay. All right. Didn't expect that one. I'm not going to lie. This is hard to do. Fucking. Can I make control the sneak button? Because. So I have to be still when their light is on. Now, if the light touches me, I don't know if, if it's when their light touches me that it's a problem or if it's if I'm moving in their light. Also looks like, oh, okay. Ah, I almost got confused. Like, well, how am I supposed to open this if I can't? what anyways i was going to be like how do i how can i not open this um uh, or how am i going to get this open since i have to put the gear back we got like a walk on walls i don't know what the fuck that kid was but i just talked about other side scrolling like creepy side scrolling games i got kids in this so of course this one gotta have one too right oh my fucking god this is creepy that one got me it's not like I jumped and got scared. It's more like it surprised the hell out of me. It sounds like bullshit. I know, but whatever. All right. Now I'm in chapter two. I'm gonna do chapter one and two. Let's just see how far we get in this week. I'll do a week worth of dark. And maybe if I want to keep going, I'll finish the whole thing. Okay, so it looks like at the beginning of each chapter, we have the opportunity to lie down and go to sleep. And I guess that's how they start each one, right? So I'll just, I'll just go to sleep. Well, that's dangerous as fuck. Like dude is looking down like he knows it. Okay, so we can't kill ourselves on accident with it. What's the other way first? I talked about it in the worry. I like to check behind me too. Not really for any seek well not necessarily. It is for all the secrets, but it's more cause like I know I'm not gonna do anything special to look for secrets for the most part. But Still nice to see. This is cool. Oh, so we're rotating the world 90 degrees then. So let's see. I'm, I know this is the wrong way, like the wrong one to do. Obviously, I need to turn the power off before I walk in here, right? So it's not going to let me in there yet. And I believe that's what that switch is for. Because that's how we turned off the last one. Uh, so we should be able to do something with this one, right? Can't really do anything with this one yet. And that's where we started. All right, let's get into it then. old stopwatch or an old pocket watch well not even pocket watch just an old watch instead of adding extra details for no reason i said we can do anything with this one it's because i saw the far wall and thought ah can't walk on that one right no that's how the last uh that's how chapter one got me so we have a small key and an old watch
Is there anything we can do with either of these two things here? No. Okay. Let's try back the way that we came real quick. Oh. So do I go this way or not? At this point, I'm not sure what the importance of this kid is yet. It seems like this is actually a pretty long running, well thought out game. And I'm just coming in at the end of it or like when they're doing like the remasters and all stuff like that so i'm not really sure what's happening overall and i've also not heard much about this game hmm. checking on that way and got stuck so i'm not really sure where to go from here I can't keep going this way because I have to get rid of the, the elevator, I assume is what that is first. So maybe there's something back in one of the other paths that I missed that I can use this key on. Because the key is new compared to all of these other places, but I've already come here with the key. And I can't go this way any further, so there's only one one direction I need to investigate and neither of those things fit Ooh, hit him up back. neither of those things fit into into that like into that little slot is what I'll call it I guess mm -hmm. it doesn't look like there's any way to to get this piece to move or something. Um, maybe I'm supposed to flip it around. To, like this. Now, because when I go the other way, it was going to fall back towards me. Because I'm thinking in my head, maybe that piece that I was standing on is... Let me turn this down some. I was thinking in my head that maybe the piece that I was standing on was some sort of free sliding type of thing. So if I stood on that wall to my right, then it would have fallen to the right. But then when I go down, then I have to walk on the left wall. So I don't think that's going to do it either. Not unless I can... I didn't try this. Using this upside down. There we go. I didn't even think about it. I thought it was too far away. At least that one didn't take me terribly long to figure out though. That's the other side of this figured out and it won't let us go any further. So we do have to go back and forth a little bit. Before I go back to being the right side up going through this though. Let's try all the other directions on the ceiling. So now we can go back the way past the kid. And I assume this is what the key is going to be if I can take a step forward. Matches. All right. So now we can start a fire if we want to. No one trusts me with fire. But at least none of my friends trust me with fire. And maybe not my brother either, but fire is fun. I uh, need to go to this one first and flip around. I used to play with matches because one of my jobs, I just said, here's some matches. Well, not here's some matches, but you needed matches to do your job. But oftentimes the matches would like run low and they're like, oh, if we start running low, just get a new pack. I would always get a new pack when it started running low, but I would keep the old pack instead of just throwing it away or something. Huge waste of matches, but overall it was fun. E. Yeah. Can't do anything here. 
Oh, here. And matches. Seems like a perfect thing to do in a subway station around all of these pipes that I'm sure don't have any flammable materials in them. That's perfect timing, honestly. That. Whatever. Ah, we're gonna use the T as the thing. We're gonna jam the T into that little spot, right? And then we'll be able to use the T as a lever itself. There we go. All right, that's pretty clever. The watch thing definitely got me because that didn't make sense because I put it in my pocket, but I guess we did put those fat ass gears in my pocket too. I'm also, okay, so this is a train that we're looking at from the top down view. And around the corner, we turned the screen. We just went down and then down to be flat again. Walked out and there was another train going in, going left, right, and this train's going up, down. We're also looking at it from a top down view, which makes it weird. Whatever. This game is obviously having fun with a lot of dimensions, which is pretty cool, honestly. Especially since it's a 2D game, it's still bringing a bringing in a 3D aspect. And that's chapter two finished. Now we're back on chapter three. We're at half an hour recording, but I'm sure it's about 20 ish minutes, maybe of actual footage. So I'll do one more. Maybe we'll do three chapters at a time. I don't know how many chapters it is total and how fast we're going to get through it doing it at that pace. But uh, there's a hand moving right there. I really, I really hope I can take it. So excited. I have no idea what this hand is going to do, but now I'm very excited. Is this going to be like our? Yep. I have to find more. Okay, I'll bring this one. Oh, I can't take it back. Damn. So I'm looking for severed limbs now, then, huh? And this is how I rotate. Why did that fall? Okay, well, first I'm going to start looking this way. Nothing to put there. I can pour this lever myself though, but it looks like it's only half of a lever I, maybe, or it's just like a pipe plugged in. I'm watching the background now for anything. I'm probably gonna watch it more when I'm actually playing. I'm not playing, but editing the video. Okay, so we can't go any further this way. It doesn't look like there's much going on besides this little bit that we need stuff for so let's try the next direction actually i want to try down this park direction first even though that's the other direction possible um is there a way to reset this i didn't realize it was going to be a um thing like that so that unlocks that one that one unlocks that one. So each one unlocks the one that it corresponds to. Okay, but I have to do it going across. There we go. All right. Looks like I should be crouching. I'm going to steal this motherfucker's arm is what it looks like, though. <laughs> this ain't got shit on me. I watch him come running from behind me. I get scared and scream into the mic. 
Yoink. Slide that in my pocket. I was hoping that I didn't have to immediately lose this hand. See, the thing is, it also won't let me push E to get out of it until I scroll over something that won't close it. So I'm pushing E first to close it. Then I'm like, well, if that doesn't work, escape always works. Fuck walking. To see which way this dude is facing right now, though. Didn't actually scare me. Okay. Can I do anything with this now? I'm assuming not. Like, it's not going to be a hand that goes there, right? So, wait a second. It looks like this park sign. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the, the letters are changing what they actually are. I'm going to hold on to this hand just in case I need one later. <laughs> need a hand. Okay. There were some red things on the front of this. How many walls to walk on either? And I say this gives us the other side of Okay, that's a car battery. So there is a point in going in the other direction of stuff also. So I should have been checking the foreground and not the background. And there's an elevator right there. And it looks like there's a hand on that elevator too. So that should be the third or fourth one that I get. And that falls down because it blocks us from going this way. Okay. I think that, um, this thing needs a battery, right? No. And there's nothing else that needs anything in this direction at the moment. So. Take this way. This definitely looks like it needs a battery. I was just checking all the other directions first. Um, there we go. Another one? Shit. Shit, shit, shit. There we go. There we go. I just kept trying directions on all of them till it worked. I'll be honest. Those first two pretty easy. Last one kind of the last one definitely I got me. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so now I have two extra arms. Well, not extra arm. Well, I mean, they are extra hands. I still have no way to interact with this thing, but I can go back through and look around and see if there's somewhere else that I'm able to access now that I finished all these electrode things. I guess not really sure what they actually classify as. But let's go back this way and check. And I'll check back down the park direction also. Okay, so there's nothing back this way now. 
it doesn't look, I don't know if these cords are actually going off of the left side. Well, I guess that side. I don't want to say the left. Okay. Nothing over here is open back up. I want to check down the park now too. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it in this direction. Now I can check both of these sides at the same time. I'm feeling like nothing really changed back here though, but maybe since the power is on, I'll be able to open that door. Oh, I'm so wow. I never even thought to do that. I haven't finished it. Obviously, I just got to one portion of it. I'm trying not to have it give me all the answers, just the ones that I've obviously missed and I'm struggling with. So I'll take this all the way to the top. Run around. Let me off. Cool. So now I got the car key. I can go back to the car. Wrong way. And go back to the car. Get this bitch open. Take this piece. Crank. I guess this can go into the other one, right? Into this piece back here, maybe. This is the only other place I could see to add something, right? Okay, so that doesn't go there. There's another location I think I was able to put this in. And it might be back where the zombie dude is, too. So what I'm thinking, at least. I think I, once I opened the car, I think I finished everything down this street. We'll call it Hard Street because those things on top look. Oh, wait, First Street. And sixth Avenue or seventh app, whatever app, I'm calling it Hard Street. Fuck it. Anyway, so Hard Street's I think done, except for like the hands on the far side. And then here we go down fucking I don't even know Crank Street, Lindsay. No, I almost said Lindsay Lane. That's a place. That's an actual whatever. Anyways. See a shadow. Oh, that's not a shadow. That's just him. I'll wait for dude to go back past this and see if I can get to where I need to be. Okay, here we go. So now we can crank this open. Which is the giant face of a clock. Maybe this is the clock from uh, the last chapter, right? I walk faster than he walks. So I might as well walk up behind him from that distance to get into this little area right here. Okay, and I need to be on the other side of this. Okay, now the issue is.
Yeah. There we go. Uh, didn't expect it to flip this over, but I didn't expect to see a hand right here either. So cool. Four hands collected. I could be four arms at this point. Like, maybe they got, maybe Vilgax got that nigga at the end. Four arms lost all four of his arms. We took these shits to use them as power sources. Maybe. I don't know, man. How did dude figure out he had this power? I think we're gonna walk in from that same side we did in uh, the second one. Oh, never mind. But that's dark. Uh, that's the sentence, huh? That's dark. So yeah, I guess Happy Halloween. I don't know what that shadow is on the wall. It looks like something's moving back there. There's a foot there too. There's another creature over here. Yeah, it looked like someone in a wheelchair, maybe. Looked like their foot was on some sort of pedal. But whatever. This is dark. Uh, this will be like my one week late ho one week late Halloween special type thing, I guess. After this, we'll be doing XCOM from the beginning, and I think you can name characters in that too. So if you want your if you want a name, I would recommend not putting your name. If you put your name, they might die. I'm not gonna lie. Because in, in that XCOM, if you lose somebody, they're just dead. Chimera Squad had a thing where, like, they're here for success and success only. But, um, I don't know if it's a thing in those games. Because those games are all all out war. Like, you're the little man trying to fight an invading force. But, if you want to put your name in there, or a name, I recommend a name. Because if, if they die, it's not on me. It just means that you died in that universe. But anyways, that's what's coming next. But happy Halloween. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow all my other socials in the description down below. Still don't really use Twitch because I don't have time to stream on a consistent basis. Because who knows what my schedule really will be until the day of. Uh, then there's Instagram run by not me. And my Twitter, which is run by me. But I don't use it too often. But... All in all, thanks for watching. Uh, there'll be more dark, at least for the next three videos, I'll say, because I'm not posting every day anymore. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'm rambling on and on at the end again. And I'll see y'all next time.